Welcome to the channel. Kicking off as always with a few sales that we've had to start the day. Get that job done. I have got a bit of a bitty day today. Ada's transitioning over into her big school, so they do like little days where they just sit in for a bit. Today is one of those days I've got to pick her up at one o'clock, take her to a new school, and then pick her up from there at three o'clock, and then pick her up from there as well. So I'm a little bit, you know, things are a bit tight. I managed to get all my jobs done yesterday that I needed to do, which I was going to do today, but with all this going on, I thought better not. Took the car for its first clean yesterday into a drive through car wash, and personally, I think the, the job is shit. Don't know, I'm not a fan of this. Just got to trust it's going to be all right. Well, it's close to my wing wheel, that is. It's okay, it's got sensors. Everything's going to be fine. I'm scared. This is my new car. Ooh, I don't like how close that is to that wing wheel. But yeah, it is shit, isn't it? They never get the water off, obviously, so you end up with water stains everywhere. I cut the kid's hair. Got that sorted out yesterday because his hair was looking like a mushroom. Our next door neighbour's cat decided he was going to wait for a little bit as well and get his hair cut. I gave him a skin fade and a go faster stripe. He loved it. But anyway, let's get into some sales. We've had some good ones as well. We'll kick it off with the two pound PA personal amplification device. It's an amp for public speaking, basically. Put a microphone in it, turn it up, everyone hears you. We paid two pound, sold it for 44 pounds, 98 pence, all in. I've had a chunk of people ask me about the red in t-shirts. They will be available when I get round to it, unfortunately, which could be 25th of never. Camera keeps peeing me off. Right, what's next? This for... Shit, that's a fucking vintage music box. Absolutely dead. Bollocks, that's survived so many years and then I have it and it's ruined. So, for £27.99 all in is this Jessup's camera bag. People get these in bundles and sometimes just discard them and just sell the camera stuff. These can be worth good money. They might sit around for a while. This has taken probably two to three weeks, but it's sold for £27.99. We love that. Box G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For £55.99 all in is this £7 Bose speaker. Picked this up from the charity shop not too long ago. We bought it and we bought some other pieces to average it down in case it didn't work, but it did work. And I've added a nice little colorful USB lead with it as well. Brilliant turnaround, great profit. A very nice little sale now. The Braun Series 9 shaver that I picked up from the car boot sale for not too much at all. Can't remember the exact price. Three quid, I think. Got another one there that I'm in the middle of cleaning and changing over. This is the only one that I got around to cleaning first because obviously it's the most expensive. They're selling on average for around about 120 to 130 pre-owned. Pre-owned. I listed mine cheap for 99.99. Happy to accept offers. And I believe it was Ian who ended up picking it up. So Ian, massively appreciate your business, mate. We worked out a deal and I sold it for £80 all in. So shipping included in the price, £80. After fees and postage and everything's taken off, I should be left with about... 65 quid that's not bad for a three pound pickup and ian got himself a nice deal as well so really appreciate it mate and that'll be on its way to you today at some point if you see stuff that you like on my store i am and you let me know when you're sending offers who you are i'm more likely and more inclined to work out deals if you don't send me a note i'm gonna think you're just another punter so if you do send me offers send me a note with it so i know who you are because then you get to tug on my heartstrings a little bit I think I paid £3 for this at a car boot sale a little while ago. Thought it was going to be worth way more than it was, but it's not. Harley Davidson Matchbox Series 1993. Sold for £13.99 all in. Whee! We sold the rest of those now. So I've just got two more to list from the big bundle. And I've got one more listed for 50 quid. And these, and I sold the other one for 50 quid. And I bundled all these up together. These are the Extreme Boarding VHSs. Sold for £18 plus shipping, so £20.99 all in. And I think they're also going off to Australia. Ah, uh, and Lottie. Lottie has picked up the bunny, the averaging down bunny. So I said to you I picked this up strictly because I was buying some pretty risky Dr. Martins and Converse's condition and price-wise. I went around the rest of the shop and was buying things to bring the price down, things that I knew would sell fast. This did sell a little bit faster because somebody from the channel saw it, but I do believe my price was competitive because within 20 minutes, 30 minutes of uploading it, I had five watches on it. So I listed it for 12 99 I think. Lottie sent me an offer of £8. I counted at 10 Didn't realise who she was at first. And she accepted and then sent me the note. You might have got it at £8 if you let me know who you was first. 
Mm. I might have to count you at nine, actually. Lottie, massively appreciate it. He's on his way to you soon. He is going to need some batteries. Take good care of him. It's an animal. He'll be fine. <laughs> and nothing on Vinted today. So as mentioned, I'm in a bit of a uh, mishmash weird day today, chopping and changing with my time and schedule, things like that. So I've got to crack on. I'll get these parcels sorted out and then I'll be back to you. Before I go anywhere, I've just found this today. Green Tea London, brand new and tags. I bought it from John Luke's stream, oh, I don't know, two months ago. Found it again in the wardrobe. Completely forgot I had it. Big up John and Charlotte. I have to say Charlotte's John's girlfriend. Well, let me get these packed. I'm just packing up the items and I got a notification that it is a man who shares the same surname as me. Quality surname. Mr. Vinny Lee, it is your 60th birthday today. So happy birthday, sir. And I wish you many, many more on this great, wonderful, yet pretty confused earth. Have a good one, mate. Dive in, I wave a few bottles and I watch them all flock All the girls wanna play bay watch I got a swimming pool full of liquor and they dive in Put pool full of liquor, I'm a dive in Sorry, copyrighted So I think I told you that Flexi Spot reached out and asked me to sponsor a chair And I said, what am I gonna do with a chair, bro? I can't offer with a table And they've accepted Now the only problem is You know, do you remember when I got this place set up? Everything here was like within a millimetre of its life because there was a pipe there there's a gas box just there which is this is butted up against which means this comes out to here which means that is all the space we have and this was perfectly aligned with a squeeze in just there and that's 120 this table well the flexi spot table is 180 which comes up to here and 80 out which would be good because I've looked at it. I've got plenty of under storage which is what I want but I do the majority of my work standing up and it'd be nice to have the height changing in a matter of an instant with a button. Here, it's quite low for my back. You know, I have to bend quite a lot. It's not good. It's hunched over. I end up looking like Quasimodo in the end. And we can't have that. So I've accepted the collaboration. And that is going to go ahead whenever it arrives. I've got to build it and stuff. So keep an eye out for that. But it's going to be a great table. Imagine just having a thing where you... <laughs> off on to do some listing. <laughs> but it means I've got to rearrange the fucking garage again. Ah, oh, never mind. It'd be worth it. Anything for a free table. It's the last thing to pack. I'm absolutely not even joking. I'm going to start wearing ear defenders when I do the packing with this tape. It leaves a serious ringing in my ears and I've got tinnitus already. Bing! Yeah, I'm going to have to. An extra stop. Right, we are done. Done, done, done. Dun, dun, dun. Get those in the car. Get out of the way. Let's see what we can list today. It's very hot. Yesterday when I was cutting George's hair, I told him I was going to go get a bit of water so I can go and uh, dampen his hair. Well, I, I dampened his hair. And I want that today because this is lovely weather out there. I want to be soaked. I, I, I love my stepdad. <laughs> right. I don't know why, as men, we have to do everything in one go. There's no need. Absolutely no need. Can somebody also please explain to me why I am having to buy things for my car that it didn't come with? Like a cup holder. 40 quid I've had to spend on a cup holder. Should be here today. Fucking better be here today. Fucking joke. Oh, please be my package. That could be it. I see you. I saved you a screen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think that's it. Terrible packing. All the money I spent on it, it doesn't have a cup holder. No, it does. And of course, I'm going to have to go and fit it immediately because my brain won't work otherwise. Let's have a look. So basically, it just come with that and I don't like that. And I was looking around. Uh, does it go there? Maybe it goes there. Maybe it goes there. There we go, there's one, there's two. I think I fucked up, I think it was supposed to go in there first. Yeah, it was. How do I get it out though? I can't get it back out now. It's got little nodules on it, I can't remove it. Hold on a minute. I'm honestly such a fucking rushy prick. I can't get it out now. Why am I like this? Why do I do things like this? Let me see what I can do. It's got those little bubbles that as soon as you click it in, it's in. 
I'm going to try and like spudge it out there like this with a card. I'm going to have to go onto YouTube and figure it out. I didn't even have a chance to look it up. I was pushing down on that. And if you look at that, yeah. All right, let's do it again properly. I'm going to remove that first though. Then down here. There we go. I need to get Project's Blood Dice back on. So it holds a bottle of that size. That's all I need, really, isn't it? And to hold a uh, Greg's coffee cup. So I'm guessing that bit there is for a Red Bull. 40 quid that cost me. Honestly, I do some dumb shit sometimes. I'm so eager all the time, all the time. All right, let's get back to the edit. I like to keep all these little scrap off cuts when it's like that, especially because they're good for like trading cards or something. Just pop it in the middle of them. Whoa, there we go. So like I said, I'm gonna have to do some more rearranging in there soon anyway. So I'm not gonna get too bothered about the tidiness of it. Obviously like dirt, mess has to go, but positioning of stuff, pointless. All of that's getting ripped out. This better be the right move. I'm hoping, that I've, I really have thought about this table for the last three days and I really do think it is a good option. I've worked out the sizes and stuff and how I'm gonna use it, what I'm gonna use it for, where things can go, how I can store things as well. And I really do think it's a good idea, but I am not going to shy away from the fact that I've made bad decisions before in my life, many of them. And yeah, I'm only accepting it because it's a freebie, but if it was a freebie that I had no use for, I wouldn't because it takes up a lot of space. Part of the video is I've got to put it up. I've got to, I've got to not dismantle it, mantle it. <laughs> I've got to construct it. So uh, if it was really something that I didn't think I could use, I would have said no, like I did with the chair. As mentioned, they originally offered me a chair. I counted with the table. And if they said no, just the chair, I would have said no. It's the right decision space-wise and functionality-wise, but time will tell. It's the right thing to do. Because this is my workspace and it's effectively going to add another third onto it. You can't even see how far it's going to go, see? Plus another 20 centimeters out here. So I'll have a larger space for photography. This space here will be dedicated for printer and printing supplies. Then the rest of this here will be, as, I, as I'm already using it for, photography and packing. I'll use that board there when I'm packing to protect the nice bamboo. Listen, I'm waffling, because I'm waffling trying to convince myself. I've done the right thing. I've done the right thing. It's gonna be fine. I've annihilated the plunge pool. It was absolutely disgusting. Let me show you a little clip of what was in there. It was like worms and horrible stuff with the hot weather coming it's time to clean out the plunge pool i mean it is absolutely rank though there is those little wrigglies in there you see it what's that at the bottom there just disgusting gross 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 ada helped me do the garden the garden's nice and short again for me oh my goodness oh that is a big one lovely cheers my man thank you so me and Graham basically sent each other packages this week. <laughs> I know this is from him, because he told me he's sending it. So we're gonna take a look at what it is together. I only know about one of the items. I know, well, I'll just show you. Let's have a look. Love the way you spell my name, R-I-K-K-Y. So with the help of Graham going forward, he's hooked me up with somebody who's gonna link up and we're gonna do some good little giveaways soon. This is not gonna be it. But I've teamed up with a sweet company. More will be revealed in the coming few videos. But they're gonna send me a shit ton of sweets. There'll be a banner up on my back wall for a bit. And what they send me, I'm gonna use them for giveaways. But Graham's got a few bits that he's got around his house and he's like, Ricky, I want you to try some of this stuff that he's got. This has got nothing to do with it. This is just Graham being a darling. So we have, let's start off with some Takis. Takis Blue Heat. What on earth are they? These are American. Hot chili pepper, artificially flavored tortilla chips. I love the way they have, the, the America's ingredients are wild. They look very, very blue and very, very hot. There's an extreme warning label there. And there's two packets of those. So I might do a taste tester video on them. Something a bit different for the channel, isn't it? Then we've got some Uncle Ray's jalapeno, naturally and artificially flavoured. Not for sale in Canada. They look a bit wild. And here is just an absolute stack of cans of drinks. So what he told me, they are 
manga one. So they've all got little manga pictures on. Let me bring this closer. So these are all cans in here. You've got Gohan, can't remember his name. But they're all Dragon Ball Z ones. We've got loads of these little pink ones. Loads of them. Vegeta. Goku. More Vegeta. More Vegeta. Future Trunks. Loads of Goku in there. Yeah, so they're all pretty much just repeating themselves. An absolute stack of them. So, if you want to see a taste test video on that, I might do a shorts video or a quick one. I'm not really a fan of these tackies though. I'm not really looking forward to doing those. But we can do it. Graham, thank you very much, mate. I look forward to that. And I also, shit. I also look forward to receiving what we spoke about. So look forward to that on the channel, guys. Going to be some great giveaways on that. Some tasty giveaways. And with that, like I said, I can't really get myself involved in too much work today because it is very itty bitty, picky uppy, droppy offy, picky uppy, droppy offy today. So I'm going to leave the video there. Tomorrow we will pick the winners 100% for the competitions. I know I said I was going to do it in this video, but I don't have time today. As always, I massively appreciate you watching. If you could please like the video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Helps the channel massively and it's free of charge. Take care guys and girls, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, bye. That is gonna burn my face off.